then you just open it and then you see the battery the icon over here so you just double click it okay so i copy paste already over here so i just open it all right you will pull out the username and password by default the user is admin the password is blank so the password by default is blank you can modify it after you log into the system and you just click ok ok so after that first we have to set up the checkpoint which means how many checkpoints do you have at the construction site so you need to add one by one to the software firstly you go to the basic setup over here and then go to the checkpoint alright so you can see over here so before that you have to plug in the USB cable to your Gato petrol stick and connect to your computer by USB and then before that you need to scan your tag point one by one just follow the sequence example for 10 point so you just scan one by one after that only you plug into your computer by USB after that after you plug in then you click the download data ok <coughs> download complete so here is got three checkpoints just now I add already so you can modify the checkpoint name by click this one modify so checkpoint one click modify and then the name you can put anything also you just put a main gate then save checkpoint two door one set checkpoint three door two set all right so after done already no need to click anything you just click exit Okay, after that, you have to add a person who run the Gato system to patrol the, over the area. So you click over here, person. So before that, you have to use a access card or tag point to scan the Gato petrol stick and then only you plug into the USB port. So I scan already the card. So please remember this card is for the user who use this Gato system. Each user is using one card. So then you click the download data over here. Download complete. So you can see over here chip ID and then name person one. So you can also modify the person name. I click here modify then then you just put a heater maybe and then you click set then this one is done already you just exit so after that you have to set the reader number so we click this one reader number so this one no need to scan any card you just click this one download data this one you will come out the winner number so you can also modify the middle number name also then you put the house one then you click save Okay, this one is done already. Then we just click exit. So after that, you have to create the route for the gut tour. So we just click this one route. So you can see over here the three checkpoint just now we add already main gate door one and door two. So. Uh, 
at the route over here we just click the app so we just put a route name maybe route 1 and then click set so under the route 1 you can choose the which checkpoint you want so we just click the checkpoint you want and then you click the error so this will, this will transfer from right hand side to left hand side and done already and you just go out so you can see interval time over here so you can set the interval time so the interval time which means the checkpoint 1 to checkpoint 2 is 5 minutes the main gate is 0 minute and then the main checkpoint 1 main gate and then to checkpoint 2 door 1 is 5 minutes so you can modify the time interval over here okay so we just modify it all right so you can see over here which means main gate get main gate to door one is take 10 minutes to go over there Okay, this route is done already. After that, we need to set up the plan over here. Okay, so this plan you can see over here the select week. Which day is our working day. So we select the all Monday until Sunday. Then the route, we need to choose route 1. And then start time. Which means the person who patrol the system is how many times we start booking time and the uh, end booking time so for example we set 9 until 6 o'clock and then petrol time we have to put also so which means in the this period uh, how many petrol time we need to spread the time so we just put 60 minutes then that's time maybe 10 minutes Then you need to take this fit time, which means it's follow the timetable. And then the time error is uh, before the time and after the time. It's allowed to control the system. After that, you have to click this one, control by order, which means it's uh, follow the sequence of the checkpoint. And you click OK. Right, so you have see here, we have generated the timetable over here. So start time is 9 until 10, and then 1 hour, and then start from 10, 10 and 10 minutes, which means that in between these two periods, this rest time is 10 minutes. So done already, you click OK. Oh sorry, this one is double already. So we just undo it. Okay, done. So we just click exit. Okay, after that, we have to collect the data after the guard is run the route already. So we just go to the theta operate and then read theta and then we click this one download theta so you can see so all data show here is the, all the guard run the ready one to checkpoint so please remember every time you want to get the report you must go to the read theta so that you can see the report over here so it's got three types of report one is record list summary report and detail report so we see the record list first so record in the record list you can see over here you can filter by date and time reader number and then checkpoint which checkpoint 
then person which person then event this one we no need just leave it okay after we select the option over here we just click data QB so we show and nothing over here So you can see over here, this one is the data then just now we call that the one. This one is just a record this simple uh, record. And then we go to the summary report. So over here you can select the option also, filter by date and time, routes, so and then you click the dark QB. So in this summary report you can see the few options over here. This route, start time, end time, count is on time or not. If no on time, you will show not yet arrived or wrong sequence, arrive early or late. So this one is more detailed about the reports. Then the detail report over here, you can see also filter by check day and time, checkpoint, person, route, status also. So this one almost same with the, just now the summary report. So you can see the route, pen date, pen time, checkpoint, reader number, then the status. Status over here is show any on time or not yet arrive, or arrive early or late. So okay. So after that, you have you can change the password over here. System set. This one change password. Okay, the new password you just key in the new password. Maybe admin. We enter password again. Admin. Then save. Okay, you can also backup the database over here. So you just click back up the database, then you select which path you want to set, set. then put a file name, and click set, back up successfully. And you also can restore back the database over here, restore, then yes. So just to choose the file just now, you back up already one, this one, so just open. Then you will restore back the whole database. Okay, and then you can set the parameter also. The component name, just put the name. And then set time. Set time which means it synchronize the time with the PC time to the cutthroat stick. Okay. And then you can set also the set bit deep sound and set vibration of the gastro petrol stick so when we scan the cut or tag it will come out a bit or set the vibration after that all setting done you click uh, save over here okay done so you can also initialize the whole system you just click all and then click OK. We will reset back all the system to the default setting. Confirm we will select all the information in the software. Yes. So you can see, so the all the data is gone already. All right. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching.